So there's been some interest in a video showing you how to unzip a zipped file, extract its content, uh, so you can get the SVG file to use in Cricut Design Space. And I am on a Windows 10 PC, so uh, this is not probably going to work the same for a Mac computer. So I've just come to lovesvg.com where they have a ton of free um, SVG files. And I'll just choose these deer here and click on them. And then it tells me here that I'm going to get four files. I'm going to get an SVG, DXF, EPS, and PNG. Uh, so I will scroll down to download zip file, click on that. And then it's going to, if you're using Google Chrome, it's going to show you that it's right here. It has downloaded. And you can click on this little arrow here and click on show in folder. You can click open to, but I always show in folder. That way I can see where it downloaded to. If you don't know, then you, you need to know, obviously, so you, that you can find it. Okay. Now, here it is, little moose. So I can right click on that and extract all. And I leave this default because it's going to extract in the same folder or destination, actually, not the same folder, but the same destination, which I have mine set for desktop. Um, so then I just click extract and It's going to be in its own folder, Little Moose. So I'll left click on that, double click, and I'll left double click on that, and it opens the file, okay? If you do this and you do not extract it, you're going to have issues um, because you can actually go to your desktop, go to the Little Moose zip file, Let's see, double click on that, and then double click on that and it will show you all the files but they're not extracted you have to extract them okay so let's go back to the desktop and let's find the extracted file um as you can see this is still zipped even though i had it open and i could see its content it is still zipped okay you must extract okay and then it's going to pop up that screen and it's going to put another folder that does not have a zip on it, an open folder um, in the destination where the zip file also is, okay? Same destination. If you don't change anything when that screen pops up, okay? So let's double click on that to open it. And then we'll double click on it again. And here's my SVG file, all right? So let's go to Cricut Design Space. And let's do a new project. Upload an image. Upload image. And I'll open my folder where my SVG document is and I'll just left click and drag and drop into Design Space. And then once that shows up, you can click save. And it will be the first image in your um, library here. Click on that, insert images. And they're going to come in as a group because there's more than one. Okay. And there they are. So now you can ungroup them and you can move them around. You can delete the ones that you don't want and you can cut the one that you do want. So that's how it's done. Um, now I will always go back to my folder and I will select this, hold my control key, select the DXF, EPS, and the PNG file and delete that because I have no use for those. The only thing they're doing is taking up space on my computer. So now I have um, 
this folder on my desktop that only has the little moose SVG file. And actually, what I do is I take that file then and I move it to my uh, backup. And then I can go back up here to my desktop and I can just go ahead and delete this. Because I have an external hard drive, so that's why I like to save a lot of my stuff. Obviously not enough, but um, anyway, that is how it's done. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.